What's going on YouTube? Uh, today we are playing The Outer Worlds. Um, uh, we're playing it on the Switch. This is after the patch of the duplication glitch for the free money. So you can't do that. So today I'm going to show you my method that I've found. Um, I'll show you my character first. So, wrong button. Um, we'll come here. I got some, you know, pretty generic weapons here. And then, so I got some pretty high intelligence. None of this stuff matters. None of this matters at all, really. Um, I would recommend doing the elevator operations specialist just for the engineering plus one. I mean, I know it's not much, but it's better than just three percent off of. Uh, like a corrosion, corrosion damage or whatever type of damage or you know whatever the other options are and then so I kind of base my character to be kind of lonely so I got the lone wolf perk so that increases my damage um, this increases my tactical time tactical time dilation recharge um, but what I'm really going to tell you guys to get is a few more bits. That was actually my first perk. And then the Negotiator is actually probably one of the second perks or one of these ones like the Lone Wolf because I do like to be alone and you do more damage with that. But I would recommend getting a few more bits within two or four before you get to Groundbreaker. And I would recommend trying to get a good reputation with Spacer's Choice so that you can basically you're gonna steal these guys steal this guy's items except for it's not stealing it. It's a whole process. We'll we'll get into that in just a few few minutes. But um, I also have the soliloquy um, to boost my dialogue skills because my dialogue skills actually aren't too good right now or maybe they, yeah I'm, I started bringing them up so that's what I'm gonna bring in talking to next I guess is I would get engineer at least to 80 as soon as you can as you see I'm level 22 get it to 80 as soon as you can that way when you break down any weapons like this weapons that I have in my inventory right here that I'm not gonna use We'll break them down and potentially get a weapon mod from them. See that? I just got a weapon mod at the bottom right corner. So, it's the same with these. If I want to do these, I actually want to save, but, um, yes. So, this is what we're going to be basing it around is trying to get the weapon mods and armor mods. But from the videos that I've seen, you have to buy the armor and stuff like that. That's not the case at all. So let me let me show you. Let me get into it. So go to Groundbreaker. Try to get as many. Um, I know at first it's probably not going to be as substantial because you won't have the perks yet. But as soon as you get the perks and as soon as you start doing it, you'll see profit. Nothing but fucking profit. Nothing but profit. Alright, so we're gonna travel to Groundbreaker. And look, I'm pretty high level, I would say, because the level cap is 30. So I'm a, I'm a high level, but I'm not really that far into the game, so I don't have like all of the areas unlocked. But. We're gonna travel to the Groundbreaker. I have a substantial discount, at least half off, I think. So we're over here in Monarch. We're gonna go all the way over here to Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. And I do have Parvati. Parvati. And. I would recommend getting her skill bonus engineer and then the 10% chance extra to 
get a mod while in the field. This is the only area that I actually use companions, unless there's a companion quest, but. So, you were gonna go into the Groundbreaker, and it's gonna be very similar to these other videos where you go and talk to this guy, but you just do not buy anything. And you gotta have your lock skill up, because the lock pick, there's a lock pick behind this guy, and for some reason, there's a chest, that respawns all of his stuff and as soon as this loads real time loading here in the switch we're, we're playing on the switch it's, it's happening so what we're gonna do is I actually should have can I put this stuff in here first because I want to I want to just not have this stuff in my inventory because I'm gonna be breaking stuff down as you can see, I have a lot of ammo. I have 15,000 heavy ammo, 19,000, almost 20,000 energy and light ammo. So this is also a good way to get ammo. It's also a good way to get any of these medical supplies. As you see, I don't have any medical supplies. I don't have any armor. I don't have any weapons. All I have is a couple weapon mods here that I had, that I got from the last time I started doing this. All right, so. There's where you enter at. I just put that stuff there so I didn't have it. Um, and then mark this um, location here because you might be coming back here if you don't like doing it in the inventory. It is faster there, but in the inventory it's, it's not too much different. So, um, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna come back here. This is the door that you need to lock pick. Um, there's sometimes a guy standing right here who usually has his back to you, so it's really easy to lockpick. And then it's this right here. As you can see, it's already full of his inventory. I didn't even have to talk to him. So, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take all of that. As you see, it's not stealing. I'm over encumbered now, though. So um, what we're going to come over here and do is we're going to sleep for just, just a whole day. That's all you have to do is sleep for a whole day, 24 hours. So, I'm, I'm over encumbered. I'm surprised that over encumbered me so quickly, but I think it's because of all the armor mods I have and all the mods I have. So, we're gonna do 12 hours. It's gonna be like instant. And then we're gonna do 12 more hours. And it's gonna be like instant. And then what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm just gonna turn around. Because I actually have a better deal Great. with this girl than that other dude for some reason. And. Mine isn't that good either, like it's only at 53%, so you can get it much higher. I've seen it up at 70%. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to sell, and I'm just gonna sell all of these armor mods and mods that I have, which you pick up a lot off of him too. Like all of that that was in that chest was armor mods, ammo, a couple of weapons, and some, all of these, um, all of these weapons, oh no, wait, hold up. Let me, let me come into my inventory. So it had all of these weapons in that container, because I didn't have any weapons, remember? And it had all of these in here, in that container, which I didn't buy, I just took it out of the container, right? And we can sit there and just go through and just uh, break down all of those and get more mods. And that's what we're doing, we're just selling mods. Because as you see, they'll just stack. I got seven toughened. Like, they just stack. So, what we're gonna do is we're if just gonna sell to these. Seat, I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I tossed together. And so, we're gonna sell. And we're just gonna sell the armor mods first. Um, and, oh, wow. That's, wow, that's a lot of profit there. I know I had a bunch on me, but that's, wow. Um, so, then I'm just gonna come over here, and as you see, I have 207 Adreno. That's also what you get. You get a bunch of Adreno. So you'll, you'll never have any, you never run out of healing items. You'll never run out of ammo. And you'll have unlimited bits, like unlimited. So as you can see, my FPS dropped like fucking crazy. So it really does not like when I do this. Like I've literally had a crash on me before because I just kept running back and forth. So I'm just gonna go through and break down all of this stuff that I have. 
So break down, break down, break down, break down, break down. And then if you watch the right side of the screen, you'll see all of the mods that I get. Mod, mod, just armor parts, armor parts, mod, 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 mod. And it really helps with Provarti as per, here I'll show you. With this perk right here, you can get bonus 10 to engineering as well. That's why I like her as her as the first companion. And then the one right underneath that, you can get 10% chance to extract mods in the field. On top of your 10% chance to extract rare mods, so that's 20% chance to extract rare mods. And then, um, I forget what the other one was. Let me see. Oh, it was in skills. It was in, it was in engineering, engineering. So it is at 40, you get breakdown weapons and armor for a 20% chance to extract a basic mod. So you get a 30% chance to extract a basic mod with Pavati. And, and at 80 expert level engineering, you get a 10% chance to extract a rare mod. And with her 10%, it would be 20% chance to extract a rare mod. So you're basically just extracting mods and then selling them. So as you see, I did I did sleep for a whole day. I broke all of those down. Let me see. Okay, I got a decent amount of mods. Not, not very many. But what I like to do is I like to try to fill up my inventory as much as I possibly can. So right now I'm at 56 of 110. Um, and that, that actually happens to be a lot of the Adreno. Um, if... If I found another container, I, I could put a container back there. But, so, I took that last time. So if you come over here, it's empty, right? It's completely empty. So what you do is you come over here, you talk to him, you ask him to trade, right? It lags a little bit. It brings up his inventory. As you see, it's 300 ammo of each type, all of those weapon types. Not gonna buy a single thing. It's 200 for that. What was my discount off? I think it was like 40 something. It really starts lagging though on the Switch. I've had it crash before. So I got a 33% discount. I think it's because Space Your Choice doesn't really like me. I, I think that's what it is. Um, I really don't know. Let's see. Spacer's Choice. I'm agreeable. I don't, I'm not 100% like how I am on the ground breaker. I'm not right here. But so yeah, so I talked to him, I didn't buy anything, right? That that chest was empty, yeah? Oh wow, what? What? All of these items in this chest and they're not stealing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and transfer. I'm gonna actually just transfer all of my adreno, just so you can see. I'm at 107 right now. I transfer all 211 over, and now I'm at 86. So that was about, that was 21 off. That's, that was a lot of weight for just Adreno. So we're gonna leave that there for now. Um, and it just keeps spawning in that chest. So what we're gonna do is we're just not even gonna do anything this time. We're just gonna come over here. We're gonna sleep. For two, for two times, which is 12 hours each, which is one whole day. If you go back after 12, you, his inventory was not reset yet. You just have to sleep one whole day. Some people will say two, three days. Some day will do, just do it a couple few times just to be safe. But as you see, I literally slept just twice for a whole day, 12 hours each, 24 hours altogether. And I'm gonna come over here and talk to him. And what happens is it lags a little bit again, and oh wow, he's got a bunch of inventory again. And that's how you know is it'll pop up and you'll see inventory, because if he didn't, we're just going to come over here and take it all again. Oh, I'm over and covered again. Um, so what we're going to do, what can I do for you? Don't just so you can tell, when you, when you take all of his stuff, he will not have anything in his inventory. This is the buy, not the sell option. Now it's on the sell option. As you see, it's all my options, all my inventory. So, yeah. You're literally just taking all of his items. 
And you can get his up, you can get his discount up to 70, you can get their, the Groundbreakers up to 70, like, you can get it up there. I've seen it. Um, I haven't got it myself yet, but, so I'm over encumbered right now. It's really, not mainly due to it, but it's also due to all of the consumables in your inventory now, too. So, if we're gonna come over here to sell, and we're literally just gonna sell all of this because we don't, it's just, it's just taking up inventory space. We might even get down to below 110. Will we? Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Oh, wow. We're at 111 of 110, so. We can, we can start breaking down. As you see, look at all these armor and weapon mods. Um, if you just break down all of the weapons and armor too. So, just break it all down. As you see in the right corner, I get a... Um, be careful doing this though, because if you do it too quickly and it doesn't pop up with this whole menu, and like you're just sitting there spamming are you like holding it for a second and you think it's about to pop up and then you press it, it swaps out your gun. Like you, you press A to, to break it down because you think it breaks it down. Like I've broken down a couple of good, and good um, armors but I didn't want to break down because I was just sitting there. I was holding it down and not waiting until this popped up and just hitting A and I broke down the wrong eye. So just be careful and it, like it's the same here. Just kind of do it a little slower. Um, I mean, you can go faster, but like I said, you, you're at risk of swapping swapping your your item out that you actually want to keep. That's why I'd say do it with an with the empty inventory, except for what you have on, or you can even take it all off and set it aside and just do it with a completely in, empty inventory. I just like it doesn't matter to me. I just do it. But as you see, I just kept getting more and more mods. I, I almost got a whole thing full of mods, which I didn't have any mods. And this is another, I feel like it's a bug. So when they have a restricted inventory, um, it like when you steal or take it from that chest, it comes out of that chest as a restricted inventory for some reason. And it stays in your inventory as restricted inventory. But you can sell it. It's not like it's sold, it's stolen or anything like that. It's, it, you can literally sell all of it. It doesn't matter. Um, but as you see, we get some good, good mods here. Um, those are 75 each, 38. Okay, maybe not the best. Okay, there's a 150. We got 300 there. Another 300. Another 300. Another 300. And mind you, we got a stack. We got two of those. So, this is just. This is just my way of doing it. I mean, you can sell those or you can, um, I don't remember. Did I sleep? I don't think I slept. So let's sleep for two days just to be safe. I'm going to sleep for two days and then we will go back over there and talk to him. And then, so this kind of goes along with, uh, some of those other videos that I've seen. If you want to go to the, and go to these vending machines and try and buy something that's cheap, like sometimes they have some cheap items, like under fifty dollars, under fifty bits. Um, you can buy them, but yeah, just come over here and keep talking to them before you go to that chest. Just in, ask to trade, back out, and go over to the chest. It'll be full. But it for me on the switch, it lags out doing this, and I have had it crash on me before, so. Um, but yeah, just open his open his trade, and you, as you see, he's got all of his items. And we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna we're just gonna take it, take it all. And I didn't even come over and encumbered that time, so that's good. But like I said, you can come over here and start like because you start getting bits now. You can come over here and buy some more armor, cheap. This person has some cheap armor. Um, I would recommend just the armor because they usually just have cheap armor. I would even do the 74 just because you you don't need a, you you don't have an issue with bits. You, you can get unlimited bits, and all of these ones that are 23, buy them all if you want to buy them. Um, and there's not very many 
I mean, there's a couple around, but those the ones that I went to are the main ones that you're really going to get any from. Um, I'll show you this other one, which is the dock, or the the guy, the the receptionist for the dock, I guess. I don't know. The first guy you talk to probably when you walk into the medical service, medical bay, is really right next to the guy that you've been talking to, medical bay. Okay, this door usually is closed, but we're going to talk to this first guy right here, Doc Mercuru. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> just trade with him. You can literally just you can buy everything off of him. It's really cheap, really. Um, but we're just going to buy all of this. It's 56, like a few, a few bits here and there. So nothing, nothing too serious. And I will show you. I'm going to come. I'm gonna, I'm over encumbered right now, but I'll show you. I'm going to walk up to the. Uh, thingy magic, the engineering table, whatever you want to call it. I think that's what it is. Workbench, maybe. Is it called a workbench? It's probably called a workbench. <laughs> but so I am also recording this on my phone. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it doesn't help the quality either. But yeah, so we're just gonna come over here to break down. As you see, all of these weapons. This is this is why I would prefer this, is because it doesn't involve your weapons that are equipped or your armor that is equipped. It will never swap it out. So you could just sit here and spam it all. And wow, I only got one mod of that out of all of those. So we spam all of this. We got a bunch of armor mods. This is this is all you really get is armor mods because. You're not gonna buy cheap weapons, that's for one. And he doesn't really offer that many weapons. But if you just keep doing it, like as you see now my, so basically my inventory is full of this and the arm and the mods and what I have equipped. And I think I have some junk too maybe. You have a little bit of junk, not much. But I need the primal hide, so I actually gotta, gotta remove that. Or no, I need the primal leather. Where is it? Or does it save it automatically? I'm sorry, I'm on a quest to try to get the best. Oh yeah, it saves it automatically then. Well then, uh, here. Put that back in the junk. Sorry for the distraction. I was on a quest for the best armor, or one of the best armors, I guess. And it's like a light armor. Because this guy has a light armor character. Um. But yeah, that's basically it. Just come over here and just keep selling. I mean, if you just keep building up your armor mods and your mods, as you see, I have four, I have five thug kits, um, five hunter kits. What is this? Twelve toughened. Twelve. I mean, they only sell for 45 or a little bit less than that. I don't know exactly how much, but they sell for whatever, an undetermined amount, and it's 12 of them. So, I mean, it's just profit. You're literally not buying anything. You don't have to buy anything. You just have to lock pick that lock, talk to the guy, steal all of his items. You can do this at the start. I was gonna make a video from start, from the very start to, um, till I got to the groundbreaker. But it was just as long as this video was about to be, so. And I might still post it because I still have it, so. But I didn't. I didn't talk over it, so I don't know if I don't know if it's gonna be any good. But as you see, I'm gonna come to sell, and I'm just gonna sell all of these. And I I have so much Adreno, like I sold half of my Adreno, and I still have 200 Adreno. Um, and that's another thing you can sell sell the Adreno after you get so much because I wasn't selling the Adreno Because I was using it and once you get so much of it like and once you get to a higher level and Get all the perks that you want this game is a breeze on hard difficulty. Look I play on hard difficulty Let's See gameplay difficulty hard And I would, I, for when it comes to upgrading your weapons, I would try, like, try not to tinker with them until you get to the higher levels. 
Because when you're at the higher levels, you'll get a like a higher level gun of a gun that you like, and then it won't cost as much to tinker it to the max level, if you know what I'm saying. If you get it at a low level and you you try to tinker it all the way up to a high level, it, it's just gonna cost boohoo amount of bits. But with this, you might have that amount of bits, so you can get all of your stuff to level 26 here. I have this one at 26. It does, okay, I'm definitely pretty sure it does more than 88 damage. Um, but yeah, so. Oh, it's because it, I need to, okay, that's what it is. I need to repair it. There we go, 350 damage. I was like, it does way more than 88 damage. But yeah, just try to keep them, keep them repaired up. Yeah, and you'll have a fun time and get unlimited ammo. You will never have an issue with running out of ammo. I was always having an issue with running out of heavy ammo when I was using assault rifles. So now I never do. And I hope you don't either. Hope this helps you out. And have a good, good evening, good day, and good night.